Hello traders, today I am going to develop a video for this comment. He is asking can you make a bot that uses a stake list instead of marking there? Like to start with 0 0.35, 0 0.43, like that. Uh, he wants to set the stake list manually. The bot should use this stake list to trade. So today I am going to show how to do this stake list. First, I am going to deriveoptions.com. You can find the link in the video description. If you have any issue regarding binary bots, you can contact this bot development team through this chat. To develop this bot, I am going to the bot platform. If you don't have any derived account, you can open here. I am clicking here to go to derive binary bot. Okay, in this derived binary bot, first I will reset this bot. Then I am changing the marker to derived. Continuous indices. Volatility can index. Then first I will create a variable to store the state list. I am naming it as state list. I will take it and connect it to the code block. Then I am going to list and I am taking this create list with code block and connect it here. If you want more steps, you can connect items by clicking on this JR icon and connecting this icon to this list. For now, I will keep on the four items. Then I am going to map, take this code block and connect it. Here we will duplicate it and connect to other places. I will change the stack list to 1, 2, 3, three, 4. Then I am taking this variable and connect this stack list here. Then next, what I am going to do is I am going to Create another variable, create count. Then I'm taking this change for block and connect it here. Change, create count by one. Then I'm again going back to list. I'm taking this for block in list. And I'm removing this stake list and connect this list to this code now and connect it back to this case. Then I am taking this variable trade count and connect it here. Then I am going back to code block logic if this Head count is equal to the length of this state list. So I'm clicking on length is list. So I'm clicking on list length of this state list. I'm taking it to variable with list. What we need to do is we want to set this state count back to zero. What we have done here is then let the bot run into this, this trade count become 1. Then it comes to this code block and our trade count is 1. So the bot is taking first stake from this stake list. Then uh, after one cycle, then again come back to here, then trade count change to 2. Then this bot will take the second stake from this stake list. After we come to our last state, that means state count is to is equal 4, our length of state list is also 4, so after that we don't have any state, 
So both will change the trade count to zero from here. But when it comes back to here, it becomes again one. Then the bot will take the first four block again after this last. So let's run this bot and test. Okay, as you see, after this four steps, but came back to initial step and continued again. Again, uh, repeating this step list. So, if we want to increase this step list, what we want to do is click on this gear icon, add another item, and again go back to map and take this for the competitive view, then change this step to any step as you wish. Let's run the bot again and test. Okay, it's also working. So this is how we can set a stake list to trade instead of marching gale or compounding. In next video, I will explain how to change the stake list only when lost. That means if result is win, we want to set this first stake. If the first trade is lost, then go back to the second stake too. And if the second stake also lost, go back to the third stake and if the third stake win go back to one again likewise like the bot is martingale i will show how to use this stake list instead of martingale so let's connect with next video thank you very much for watching